Hello, welcome to BioGrade TV. If you're new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss our next video. Major Cultural Practices of the Bapedi Tribe The Bapedi Tribe, also known as Pedi or Basotho, began as small chiefdoms formed as far back as the 17th century. These chiefdoms were defeated in the 19th century by the armies of Mzilikazi. However, Chief Sekweti of Pedi revived them some years after. The Bapedi people are a Southern African ethnic group that speaks Pedi or Sepedi, a dialect popular with the Sotho Tswana ethno-linguistic group. They are usually found in Limpopo and some other South Africa's northeastern provinces. There are some Bapedi people in Botswana and other African countries. The Bapedi tribe practices various ancestral rituals. The Malopo ritual is the most fundamental among these. Malopo is the understanding of the Bapedi culture, which is generally referred to as Go Fasa. Every Bapedi native is expected to be well informed on their culture. Their rituals usually entail animal sacrifice and the presentation of beer by the Gadi, who is the most regarded family member. They believe that slaughtering cows and some other animals help them communicate better with their ancestors. Bapedi wedding ceremonies are held in such high esteem that even neighboring communities admire these events. After a show of interest by the intended couple, their families meet to discuss the wedding and more importantly, the bride prize, which they call Lobola. The bride's family, usually her parents if they are alive, request certain items from the groom's family in exchange for their daughter. The most commonly requested items are money and livestock. After that is settled, they hold the wedding ceremony at the home of the bride or groom. On the wedding day, once the bride is dressed, she first goes to the river to get the water and wood needed for the ceremony. The bride's wedding dress, called Dintepa, is usually made from cowhide. These days, the groom may wear a suit for the occasion. After the bride gets enough water and wood and does some other tasks assigned to her, she will publicly walk to her groom while her grandmother sweeps the floor in front of her to symbolize a clear path. The big ceremony then begins with lots of performances and feasting. The Bapedi people take spirituality quite seriously. They see their ancestors as intermediaries between humans and God, who they refer to as Modimo or Mopi. They communicate with their ancestors by calling on them through a process of incense burning. They also give offerings and make animal sacrifices to these ancestors. The key figure in the Bapedi family setting is the Gadi the elder sister of a home's male head. She performs rituals on behalf of the family and acts as Ngaka, a diviner. This position used to be patrilineal but is now inherited by women. Rainfall in the Bapedi area is relatively low. However, they grow maize, wheat, sorghum, millet, and beans. They also rear livestock like goats, sheep, cattle, fowl, and pigs. Both genders in the Bapedi tribe are quite active and hardworking. The women hoe, weed, do pottery, fetch water and wood, among other domestic tasks. Their men, on the other hand, work in the fields at peak times, hunt, do woodwork, and prepare hides. Some others are metal workers. 
All these works are usually done communally by work parties called Matsema. The Bapedi tribe has groomed some notable leaders across sectors. Galima Motlanthe, the third South Africa president, and the Olympics Games medal winner Castor Semenya are both of the Bapedi tribe. What have we missed out of these cultural practices? Let's know in the comment section. Will it be ridiculous to subscribe to our channel? If no, please like this video, share and subscribe to our channel.